Norman now, last year in 2017, still um, has a grudge that he was not given his, still doesn't have his national insurance card. He said that to me last September. The, the one that he tried to get through. Yes, he still hasn't got it and it still affects his life. It means that his pension is this, that and the other and blah, blah, blah. And so it's still very present for him. I mean, that, very, very alive for him. That's, that, that's kind of mind blowing in some ways, isn't it? That mm. that kind of relic of the story yeah. still persists. There's, that, there's still that thorn in his paw. That's right. That's it. That's, that's a beautiful way of putting it. Yeah. That's mad. I mean, so, so, when, so when you were portraying Norman, like knowing what you know and having met him, how difficult was it to kind of show his blossoming, his blooming as you, as you went along? Because he does change. You know, you see him mm. early doors as one person and then he kind of like blossoms. He does. Oh, I'm pleased you feel that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I really, well, one thing I felt was that um, I really wanted f for the, the final scenes not to be, uh, not for it to feel as though Norman is the um, victim or the loser of this situation. Because actually, he, he although Jeremy Thorpe was acquitted, um, really Norman triumphed, you know, and, and Norman has triumphed in his life, in his own way, you know, he's always, he, in that he's survived, he's still here, he's, um, you know. That's interesting because he's, he, he does have the weight of the establishment. Against him. Heavily. Yes. When you look at, when you look at obviously who thought was. Oh, and, and the establishment are merciless in trying to destroy him and to discredit him. I mean, did you, I mean it, it, it could be easy to be bitter and, 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 and yes. twisted by, by that experience and by that weight. I would say he, in some ways, is bitter or angry, but I also think he's got a, he's got a sort of lightness of spirit or something um, that I think that means that... And, and, and a sort of impish, um, naughty quality that means that not, he doesn't rest very long in any kind of state like that. Uh, uh, the real Norman. Right, right. A flibbertage of it. Yeah. That's a, yeah, I would say that's right. Yeah. So that just came into my head. I don't a normally use that word. Flibbit it. It just yeah. came into my head at some point. I mean, so that in that case, if, if Norman's kind of impish, yeah. a flibbertage of it, you might say, um, having Russell T. Davis write for him, uh, that's a marriage of, of, of kind of, of minds, is it not? I think so. I mean, I think, um, I think what Russell wrote was just Magnificent. Like, what, I mean, I'm, I'm just the biggest fan, but of, of everything he's written. But yeah, I think it's a perfect um, yeah marriage of sensibilities, you know. Yeah, and um, because there's always there's always this strange black humour in, in in what Russell in how Russell sees things, which I think is deeply part of this story.